Tranquil waters, a gentle wind, and the sight of seafaring birds and non-feathered sailors greeted us at Holyrood's main beach. That's where one of Holyrood's newest and most popular bistros is located. It's called the Station Diner. And as we pulled up to the main entrance, the significance of the name became clear. Beside the diner, a painting of a Newfoundland railway train silently affirmed that the Station Diner is, on the outside at least, a replica of a rural Newfoundland railway station. The dory colors, buff with bright green trim, are familiar to those who may have seen one of the rare originals that still exist, or to people of a certain generation. Holyrood's version even has the requisite nearby freight shed, painted in those same cheerful colors. Inside, the diner is essentially a brilliant red corridor, lined with window tables and comfortable chairs overlooking a large deck. Themed decorations include a dining car menu from Canadian National Railways, circa 1950. Back in the day, when a lamb chop dinner cost $1.10 and a glass of whole milk cost just 15 cents. One of five large wooden picnic tables was waiting for us on the station diner's deck, a deck that can easily accommodate 30. Sitting just yards from the water and with a superb view of same, this was an ideal spot for fine weather dining. As we watched motorized craft and sailboats come and go in the near distance, we began dinner by snacking on the station diner's giant onion rings. Honestly, they were the biggest I've ever seen. Lightly crisp and delicious to boot. A mayo-based dipping sauce arrived with them, but salt and vinegar was my preference. Next we tried the station diner's chicken wings, going from crispy to crunchy very crunchy. You know, the kind of crunch that seems to reverberate in your head every time you take a bite. Mild, hot, and sweet Thai sauces came with the wings. The sweetness and thicker consistency of the Thai sauce made it the best match with fried chicken. I know an excellent smoked meat sandwich when I taste one, and the station diner's smoked meat on rye was as toothsome as they come. Although fries would have been the classic side, and they were available, we opted for tossed salad. It matched the sandwich ounce for ounce in deliciousness. If there's one dish you should be able to depend upon in Outport, Newfoundland, it's a good tasting roast turkey dinner with savory dressing and boiled root vegetables. The station diners had tender, juicy turkey, dressing with punch, and a flavor trifecta in its carrot, potato, and turnip. No Newfoundland restaurant can operate without cod. Pan-fried cod is ubiquitous. Deep-fried cod and chips pretty much the same. The station diner's fish and chips featured the freshest cod, cooked perfectly in a light, crisp coat. The golden brown chips were, as Sir Winston Churchill once said, good companions. Okay, I'll admit it, I will never say no to coconut cream pie, unless it's made in a factory. The station diners was lovingly homemade. What's more, it was a new take on the classic. Well, for me at least. That's because it was more coconut than cream, resulting in a firm pie with texture similar to biting into a bounty bar. The more coconut, the better, I say. And the more restaurants in rural Newfoundland like the Station Diner, the better. The Station Diner of Holyrood receives a big three stars from this reviewer. Dinner for two with wine, including tax and tip, is approximately $70. For reservations, call 709-229-3814.